Wait. They can't see me in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait, oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Huh. What is going on, guys? Today I'm playing a saloon map. Wow, this is a lot of perks. Dude, holy shit, look how many are down here, too. Oh, look at all these points. Oh, why did I drop? I can't get back up until I buy that door. Okay, and there's doors for 2k but if the box is upstairs and all these perks you hear like what could possibly be behind the doors but as always if you enjoy any of my videos please consider leaving like subscribing i really appreciate the support and you know of course i thought about this because i'm currently playing a saloon map but we've all seen you know saloons and cowboy movies and all that i mean how real do we think all of those were like i mean how often do you think there were actually like saloons you know you, you got piano playing you got like really rustic bartenders and all that and you know brawls like how often was that actually a thing and i almost died because i talk with my hands unfair oh this is the mw3 mp5 this is like the weird one wait of course they gatekeep jug from me bullshit i mean how often do we think like you know cowboy quick draw matches and all that happened because i want to say you know oh it's just hollywood but i mean i feel like you know it's roughly based off of something like it might not be exactly what we see in movies but like how real do we think all that is like i'm kind of curious how do i get to that one perk over there okay these zombies are fast i definitely want to get jugged before i start opening these doors even though i'm really curious what is behind these random ass doors wait do i have to like jump and get that perk what is it fighters fizz i don't know what that does but do i have to jump and get it that's the only thing i could think Let's see. Okay, yeah. So that's how I get it, but I don't know what it does. Now let's open this just so I can actually get Jug once I get enough. But that's always kind of been the thing I've thought about, you know, what I was talking about earlier is not like saloon specifically. You know, when Hollywood does something like how often or how close to the real thing is it? Like, I mean, weird things, like how often did this actually happen? Like, I mean, how real were cowboys? Like, I actually don't know. I mean, they are relatively real from like the little things i know because one of the college classes i took was latin american history Ooh, a pack a punch drop um yeah, yeah 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 mustang sally and there were these things called i believe they're called gauchos it was basically like argentinian cowboys like it was basically cowboys in argentina and when i say like basically cowboys i literally mean like they were cowboys i remember raising my hand in that class actually when he was describing all of them and i'm like are are these just cowboys? And teacher was like, you know, honestly, like, basically, these are basically just cowboys. You know, this is over in Argentina back in, like, shit, I don't know, like, the 1800s, early 1900s. I mean, they have to be somewhat real. I want to open one of the doors, but I also want to get PhD. Okay, listen here. I shot your head off. You should, like, calm down. Ah, uh, that's why I want PC. Why I got stuck. See, I'm like stuck back here. Uh, dumb down. Boo. I kind of just prayed that I wouldn't die if I shot, which I mean, I knew I would. It's okay. I just need to get enough for MP5 ammo and jug again, which I'm going to use these seven balls to hope I get a max ammo. I did not. So I haven't watched like many movies in a long time or TV shows because I'm known. I'm just not like a big movie TV show kind of guy. Like I like proactively doing something, which is why I like video games because I'm still like then doing something. But one of my favorite movies movies that I saw when I was a kid is the three amigos who here has seen the three amigos dude it's such a good movie because there's just one scene where they all have to like read off this little script or like just i don't remember like what the exact context was they were trying to like summon an invisible horseman i remember that and you know they all start reading it and then one guy starts reading it and like he they have to you like read it and then you have to shoot straight in the air and as he was reading it and his gun started drifting off to the side and he shot and you hear this horse neigh and the dude looks up and goes dude he just shot the invisible horseman. It is such a good movie. And I just thought of that now because it was, you know, like cowboy themed. I'm going to have to spend a small fortune to acquire every perk on this map. Because I still have to open up all these doors. And then I have to see what's inside, you know, these like whatever six, seven, two thousand dollar doors. Okay, let's just open one. What's in here? Up. Uh, oh, another perk. Are you telling me there's a, just another perk in all these? Dude. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, wait, where's the Bible ending? There's a Bible ending somewhere. Found it. I have to buy like 25 perks and get 86k? Oh, bro, there's gonna be a long map. See, I'm gonna save a zombie and see if there's any like random perk that gives me like, I don't know, like double points per shot or whatever. You know, there's like so many perks. Like, I gotta see what these do. Is there a perma double point perk, please? No, I didn't mean another round. No. Okay. Um, fast regen. Hey, Dying Wish is cool. I kinda want Dying Wish. Okay, 500. Don't know what this does. Here. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Okay, there's a shield part, but. What is this? Oh, double taps in here. Ooh, I want to get that in a second. Wait. They can't see me in here. Oh, I don't have enough for double. Look at this. Oh, 
โอ้ยโอ้เออโอ้โอาฮะ I mean it's not a great idea to sit in there because they don't run at you which means you're just gonna like freeze the game basically hey let's get double tap that's just such a huge perk dude I'm literally gonna have to spend like 150k points this game because 86k on the ending plus I think there's like 25 perks like ay 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 my screen's gonna be entirely full of perks I honestly should have just kept this mp5 unpacked because I'm almost out of ammo and um I don't like that all right let's open up these last two doors so snail space that's a really good perk I'm chill part and and cryo slide soda don't know what that does i kind of want to like uh, maybe buy the mp40 right there unpack a punched and you know just use it to rack a lot of points but yet again this is like not an easy map so it's not like an easy train around with an unpack punch weapon so like having that pack punch weapon is nice because i can actually kill them but with the amount of points i need i don't want to be here till round 30. okay wait, where's spigola i don't remember seeing okay it's up here but see i literally didn't remember seeing it okay let's do that um i think dying wish is gonna be the next thing actually i want to try the electric knife perk over here what's it called muscle milk this isn't what it usually is muscle milk is usually just a protein shake all right wonder Wolf knife hmm interesting i believe it has what a 15 second cooldown is what it says oh wait, i can't see the thing anymore but yeah it has a cooldown i mean i obviously could just get the 86,000 whatever and then end the game but um if there's this many perks i might as well not be lame and buy all of them I just left early that'd be lame as hell man all these tables and chairs are kind of making life a little annoying though they just keep getting stuck on random shit dude imagine having to use the bathroom in like this oh like look how like there's no privacy dude like there's a guy sitting right here taking a shit next to you like hey how's your shit going buddy like hell no nah, get that shit out of here man uh-uh indoor plumbing is easily the best invention that has ever existed and i can't be told otherwise i remember being uh you know elementary school whatever i went to the local museum and i remember like this specifically like i it's been years can i put an aat on mustang sally <laughs> oh i can what oh shit i was just kind of like random but okay but i remember this specifically and it's been i don't know like 10 years so in the museum they had a chamber pot which if you don't know what a chamber pot is it's basically like the family bathroom before indoor plumbing existed it literally was a pot and that was the bathroom and you know they're showing us this and they're describing like how chamber pots were used and you know we're like you know a bunch of elementary kids like they had to you know go to the bathroom in a pot no way absolutely not there's no way and, you know i was like there's absolutely no way that's real there's no way he's like it you guys think toilets existed the entire like course of history so i remember i actually asked i was like well how do they decide who cleans this out because i want to know how like if i was in this hypothetical scenario how I could avoid being the chamber pot bitch. And I remember they told us, they're like, the last one who woke up usually was the one who had to clean it out. And I was like, oh, you, you bet your ass I'm waking up early i might not even go to bed i don't know i remember that so vividly and i seriously it's like one of those things where it's like why would you remember that so vividly i'm like i don't know i guess the idea of having to clean out the chamber pot every day repulsed me that much that like to this day it still stands out oh boys perfect gameplay double thunderwall bro oh that is amazing look at this thunderwall thunderwall insane dude this game's so easy when you have double thunderwall like literally nothing could go wrong like there's literally no way that i could go down you get to a point on a map where you have so many perks that like you can't even tell what's going on anymore because you have so many effects going on like i like walk around a corner shoot one zombie knife one zombie next thing you know there's like 30 different things going on i'm like what map am i playing that's kind of how i'm starting to feel and i don't even have all the perks like how many do i have four eight 12 14 i believe or the perk icon is gonna like start double stacking on top or am i gonna have a straight line across my screen of perk icons i guess we'll find out because i still have more to buy i think i'm just gonna buy mule kick last even though like i'm not gonna buy another weapon so mule kick won't affect me i can go through there how come i couldn't go through here earlier i literally like when i was down i was trying to crawl through it and all that okay hold on guys wait let me do this before i forget i don't even know what this does that activated dying wish what Bro, what? Yo, that's crazy. Like, I'm still rescuing. That activated Dying Wish. That. Are you... Huh? I really don't understand that. Right, let me just get Blaze Phase. Ooh. Man, Cherry 2. I probably should just shoot the zombies instead of buying perks for no reason, but that would be the intelligent thing to do. I'm not gonna do that. Guys, if I go down... I think I'm just gonna cry. I don't want to buy all these perks back. Wait, there's who's who up here. So, I mean, I could who's who my way back to all my perks. And I just bought who's who and I'm kind of like fighting the... Th I don't want to say it. 
Who's who may have a purpose right now. Oh god, I'm cringing. Okay, I have this, this, this. I still need widows. I have those. This one. That one. That one. And this one. Okay, wait. So I need Vigor Rush, Vulture's Aid, Mule Kick, Widow's Wine, and Blood Wolf Bite. Then I should be okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the Unpack Bunch Weapon Approach and just try to get a lot of points like this. Okay, I have so many perks that it's just still tearing through them. This is kind of how, like, MW3 Specialist Bonus felt. Like, if you ever got Specialist Bonus, and, like, you probably did on Infected, but it wasn't as apparent on Infected. If you ever had Specialist Bonus, you know, while playing, like, a pub match, you know, TDM, Dom, whatever, you felt invincible. And for those of you who don't know, because yet again i can't just expect everybody to know specialist bonus in mw3 gave you every perk in the game and i believe there were 15 perks so yeah you were kind of like the shit once you got specialist bonus it wasn't as apparent on infected because you know they only had knives and throwing knives so you like you felt fast and you could reload fast but it wasn't like insanely different but when you know you're in gunfights yeah you know the specialist bonus you know i have so many perks guys that i don't think exact change is going to work this game because i have so many random things that are gonna get me like random points like luna i did not mean to hit the box i meant to buy widows a grenade launcher yeah okay okay my guy yeah but luna widows wine cherry you know the myriad of other perks i have like are giving me random points because there's just random effects happening at every moment honestly i'll try exact change but i'm not gonna like you know spend 30 minutes just retrying to get exact change and i am fully surprised that like the perks are still in a straight line i thought i would like double stack over the top how many do i have hold on zombies hold on I just counted 21 okay i'll buy vultures aid for 22 i need mule it's vigor rush downstairs it's vigor rush i remembered it's this and then mule and then i have 24 perks which dude holy shit Look at the bottom of my screen. This is what BO4 feels like. Okay, let's buy Mule. All 24 perks have been bought. I'll double check. Okay, we should be good. Now I just need 86,000 and what to leave? I'll try exact change. No promises. 86,320. That's such a random number. What? 86,320. You know why? You know why he chose that number? He or she? Who? The map creator? Because it's such a random number. What? What did I just get? What? What, did, what just dying wished me? I have PhD. It couldn't have been my Mustang and Sally. I'm still red screen. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm... Yeah, I'm... Chill. Woo! Not even stressed. Yeah, I don't know what dying wished me. I have PhD. I, I don't know. Bro, this HUD. The whole bottom of my screen with the round, the points, ammo, the two bars above the, like, backside perks, the thing in the bottom right, the Pegasus mod. Like, why not just give me a mini-map, like, a compass in the top middle that takes up half the screen? I think I'm gonna try to do, like, one try at exact change. What? Again? What is going on? I don't know why I keep dying wishing. Uh, dying, yeah, dying wishing, I guess, going into dying wish, just randomly. I'm getting pretty close. I need to be very careful what I do. Uh, I'm gonna be near exact change in the middle of the next round. It's 86, 320. So this is gonna happen in the middle of this round. So I have like one chance at exact change. I'm gonna get rid of my widow's nades. Is a widow's PhD nade, so they're just gonna like freak the hell out. No, okay. I need to be careful not to activate Luna, so I need to be careful how many zombies I kill at once, because if I go too ham, you know, then Luna's gonna activate. I'll be careful for Electric Cherry. Yet again, always making things harder for, you know, exact change for almost no reason, but it's a little more entertaining. I also need to be careful not to step on Vulture Aid points, because if I step on the little point bags and get, like, 10 points, uh, I'm gonna be so pissed. And I actually can't rely on my knife, also, because I have, like, three different things that you know, give me, like, random effect. Oh, no. Not having Widows makes this map a giant pain in the ass, not gonna lie. That's why I got stuck over there. Hey, careful. Oh, I'm so close. See, I keep getting random 30 points. You see that? Uh, no, dude. 100 more? Mm. Uh, I need... Oh, 20. Oh, I need to find a zombie that's secluded or something. I can't shoot the pack. Wait, I'm an idiot. No, oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, one more. Hey, let's go exact change all right thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this please consider leaving a like subscribing i'd really appreciate the support and i'll catch you in the next one